My panel today, Leo Kirsten and Hayden Prowse, will be with me until 9 p.m. Any thoughts on Star Wars? Are you fans of that? Or do you, do you think yeah. that's a bit much? Oh, yeah, I mean, I was, I, was, I was fine with it until they went for Princess Leia's slave outfit. I mean, like, we've got to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> well, that was like the big fantasy for heterosexual men of our age, wasn't absolutely, it? Basically? Absolutely, you know, absolutely, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's ridiculous for five academics in the Scientific American to be, to be picking apart, uh, you know, Jedi, which, which means uh, justice, yeah. equality, that... diversity and inclusion, yeah. when they haven't even cured cancer. Cancer yet? No. Like, come on, science. It's interesting, though. Like, pure cancer, and then you can deal with this stuff. <laughs> it's not actually. Well, one person applauds. Oh, okay. It spreads. The thing is, though, it wasn't actually e equality, justice, equity. Equity. Uh, and that's kind of a neat sleight of hand there, because e equity sounds like equality. So, I think everyone thinks I'm really on board with that. Equity means something very different, doesn't it? E e equity means not equality of opportunity. It means artificially arranging things so everyone has equality of outcome. Right. So we all end up with exactly the same. Uh, that's not the same. That's a very ideologically driven thing. Do you, do you have any thoughts on this, uh, Hayden? I'd just like to correct you on one thing first of all. It, the Darth Vader wasn't voiced. Darth Vader was voiced by David Prowse. Actually. No, no, he was. He, David Prowse played him. David Prowse uh, played him. Oh, what did you say? I said he was voiced by James Earl Jones. You said that. I stand corrected. I Are just, you related to David Prowse? He's not my father, no. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so long and You had to say it. You in a terrible time. You had to say that. That's the only <laughs> reason. This, is, this reads like satire. I couldn't believe I it. It was real. It's, in, it's incredible. And also, the Jedi were incredibly effective at stopping the Galactic Empire. Whereas if you took today's social justice warriors, they'd be like gluing themselves to the Death Star and <laughs> yeah, exactly. write, writing a petition signed by a million Ewoks and Greta Thunberg yeah. to Darth Vader to say, please don't blow up our planet, which wouldn't have been that effective. So it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. No, I just. I I think you're absolutely right. It does read like something that someone yeah. has made up. Because it's it, but it's the sort of things we used to joke about, and now it's all coming true. And it, I, like I say, I wouldn't care mm. if it was activists online. I care because it's a scientific American. I, I also think that in, in today's sort of climate of sort of woke capitalism, the Death Star would have almost certainly sent out a tweet celebrating gay pride. Almost certainly. And, and had a rainbow <laughs> flag above it. <laughs> they would have been rainbow washed, yeah. absolutely. Um, but what do we make of, well, of this idea of gaslighting? That when Jedis do their mind trick, they're gaslighting. You know, <laughs> so gaslighting is this term that activists use. Gaslighting, it comes from the, the film Gaslight from the 1930s. And the idea is that, what, 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 you know, in that film, basically, the husband is trying to... The, he's dimming the lights all the time, and then when his wife says, is it getting dark, he says, no, that's just your mind. So he's, it's basically, that's how you drive people mad, by denying observable reality. But it's that's... very green to do that. Very environmentally <laughs> green. <laughs> Thank you for that, Leo. It's also apparently Jedi mind tricks are gaslighting as well. So that's, I mean, I can't, yeah. imagine, I can't see when that has ever been used. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.